Hi there, I'm Lydia. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be making ink drop crystal towers. These molds were sent to me by Let's Resin to show you how they work. Now, these molds are made of silicone. They're super soft. They're shiny on the inside. Um, if you want to know more about mold types and like how they work with resin, make sure you check out the video that I'm going to have linked above and also in the description box below. Anyways, uh, I'm going to take these out. This package comes with three molds, each of varying sizes. Uh, they're all about the same height, but with width, they vary. What I really like about these molds is that on the side, it tells you exactly how much resin each mold is going to take. Uh, and so let's get into it. Now you're going to start out with just clear casting resin already mixed, ready to go. Uh, you want to pour a little bit into the mold in the tip of the mold and when you pour it in you'll see that there's a little air pocket down at the bottom you have to kind of scoop that out or scrape that out with a popsicle stick uh, something that's not too pointy and just moving that air pocket out will prevent it from causing um, a hole at the top of the crystal when it's cured all right now that i've got that done i continue to pour resin in and then i'm going to start using my inks i'm using ranger inks for this they have an awesome line of just regular inks and also pearl inks that have like a shimmery effect to it and so i highly recommend those they work awesome when you're using this ink drop technique in the crystal towers mold um, you want to make sure that you're only adding like one to two layers of ink. There's this trend or temptation to add like lots and lots of layers of ink and white and then ink and white over and over and over again. And that works well with like a more flat mold, but with these tall molds, it does not work well at all. I <laughs> had some trial and error with that one and I can attest to the fact that it's not the way to go. What I recommend doing is one layer of ink and then your white on top and then one more layer of ink and that's it leave it alone let the ink drop it takes time uh what i was doing was like adding more ink because i didn't see it drop fast enough it just happens a lot slower in these molds so just leave it alone that's really it couple layers of your ink one layer of white in between and then just walk away <laughs> and come back 24 hours later and you'll see how like beautiful it is the rest of this video is just watching me craft and the techniques and everything but uh, i'll just have some music playing so that you can just follow along if you want to learn more about the ink drop technique in a shallower mold i will have a tutorial video linked below if you have any questions about this technique or this mold or anything feel free to comment below